Hi family, Pastor Chris here with a quick update as to what's going on here at Sunrise. As many of you know, a few weeks ago we started online services and based on what we're seeing from local state and government officials, it looks like that April's going to be uh, online as well. So we as a leadership team have just decided to plan for all of April being online. Now this includes our Sunday school classes and our life groups and prayer groups. And so I wanted to encourage all of you, if you have not yet taken the opportunity to do so, to join one of these groups. And just to give you a quick recap, a quick rundown of what's going on on Sunday nights, the high school group is still meeting. Now they're meeting on Zoom, which is awesome because they can watch each other um, face to face. Uh, EE is meeting on Tuesday nights. Uh, the Women's God of Covenant class, the evening class, is meeting on Wednesday nights. And this Thursday, we start a new life group led by K. Burroughs called Agents of Babylon uh, that you can join as well. As well as Thursday mornings, the Burroughs are hosting a prayer group on the Discord. And then on Friday nights, we have an all-church Discord. And then on Sunday mornings, we still have the standard Bible study class that's meeting as well as evangelism explosion. So we have plenty of options. I'm not expecting you to go to all of those, but take the opportunity to find something to go to and connect with folks. My guess is the whole few weeks being pretty much cooped up is probably getting to a lot of us. And these are opportunities for us to meet together. Now, they're not necessarily in the way that we want to meet. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I would much rather see all of you face to face, but this is where we're at for now. And so this is what we have to be doing. This thing is becoming very real. Uh, this afternoon, the first case of a sun rising that I'm aware of was made known to me. And so we want to be praying for Paul Hoffman and we want to be praying for uh, his family as well and for his quick recovery and for them not to come down with the virus. But in addition to that, we need to be praying for our local, state, and federal officials, praying for the wisdom and their direction. And we also want to be in continuous and constant prayer for our medical professionals who are on the front lines of this fight. We're going to get through this, folks. God truly has all the things. And I believe that when we come out the other side, we're going to be stronger. We're going to be closer as our faith has grown and our eyes have continued to be firmly fixed on him. God bless. We'll see you soon.